Now custom firmware only works on all fat variants and most of the slim variants. It definitely does not work on super slim. So check it when you get to that stage. So the first thing we need to do guys is create two folders on your memory stick. The first folder is going to be PS3. The second folder, which is going to live inside the PS3 folder, is going to be called Updates. This is where you're going to be placing the PUT file that I have already sent you. Now with that being done, put your USB into your PS3 and come to your PS3 on your internet browser right here. As you can see, we're going to hit Enter or X. And then we push triangle and we're just going to go up to tools first to make sure that the closer is sorry the browser is closed so make sure that it's switched to off okay then what we're going to do is hit enter again uh, sorry triangle search and we want to put in ps3 sorry or psx and then just type exploit What's going on? Sorry, my button seems to be a bit slow. Right, uh, exploit. Oh my god. Come here. All right. T. All right, this is just a search. So you're going to um, pick up the one that's closest to it. And it's this one up here that says making PS3 great again. Click on that. Okay, let me just expand the screen so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, just push OK here. Okay, now go up to the top, BG Toolset, main site. So normally this only takes a few seconds, but because this is an old system, it takes a little longer. There you go. Right, so down to flash memory. As I said, you get a little green tick to say, yes, it's compatible. If you don't get that green tick, if you get a red cross, do not proceed any further. Okay, so we're gonna load from HTTPS. And uh, like I say, this one only takes a minute. Uh, done. So we'll go back into flash memory again. Apply. So we're going to close this and what we're going to do now, back out, push circle, scroll over to the software update, into settings, software update via storage media and now you can access it, push OK and just let it do its thing. Okay, so now you see it's gone from evil nat to rebug. Just to show you, go down to system settings, scroll down to system information. And as you can see, it's uh, 4.84. Okay, so here you want to go to Install package files and here system storage 
and Rebug Tools. And we're going to install this back out, down here, start it up. So I'm just doing a voiceover here, so scroll over to the right hand side, right down to the bottom, I went too far then, down to the bottom where it says change active PS3 ID and select the bottom one. Okay, it'll come back, say uh, push OK and then hold down circle to exit this um, XMB. And then hold circle and it'll take you back to the normal menu. Now if I try to log in now, you're going to get an error message saying uh, login disabled to PSM. What you need to do is load the game first, okay, as in mount it. So you need to go into Multiman, click on Blur, and then you'll be able to sign in. Alright, so we're going to go into Multiman as normal and uh, click on Blur or Start Blur from here. Then you're back out to the main menu. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and log in again, which you'll see is successful now that the game is mounted. Now you have to go in and do that other step every time you uh, log in. You don't want to get uh, caught by uh, PlayStation because you will get barred. Okay, so first thing, as soon as you switch it on, go into the Reebok tools, scroll over to the right hand side on utilities down to the very bottom and choose the last option. Okay, here we are logging in as you can see. Now it took me a little longer with this because I had to uh, replace the hard drive. I put an SS hard drive in it, SSD hard drive, which makes it quicker for loading. And uh, obviously it cuts down on the heat as well because it doesn't need as much voltage to uh, operate it. Uh, so I had to copy all my accounts from one PlayStation to another. So it took me a little bit longer. But for you, all you need to do is follow the steps, go into your web browser and run through the process as shown in the early part of this video. Guys, if you get any issues, let me know. But when you start the process, let it finish, all right? Don't pull the plug halfway through because you can corrupt it and brick your system. So let it finish each step. If you get any problems, let me know. I'll talk to you later. Cheers. Try to make this as quick as possible, but I don't want to miss any details. Right, here we are, back in blue. And it should come up saying previously. There we go, so that means you've got all your data back. And we are now online. Let's just see who's there. It's a bit early. It's 4.30. There's 13 online. But you can't even trust these figures anymore. Okay. All right, job done. As you can see, it's working. The cheat does work. We've signed in, we're all good to go. And that's it in a nutshell. Any questions, give me a call, guys.